case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit heard a groundbreaking case in 2000 known as FedEx Rel IVAX Corp v. Frost. The case scrutinized the legal rule stating that if a corporate insider makes a profit from buying and selling company stock within a short period of time, they are obliged to return their gains. The catalyst for the lawsuit was Mark Fetter's claim against Philip Frost and Frostel Nevada Limited Partnership, FNLP, for allegedly violating securities regulation. Frost, a statutory insider of IVAX Corporation run FNLP, which in turn controlled North American Vaccine Inc., Navi. Fader argued that Frost and FNLP were essentially controlling shareholders of Navi and as a result should be obligated under Section 16, B, to return any profits made from quick transactions of IVAX common stock. The crux of the case hinged on the district court's decision to dismiss Fader's complaint. Unswayed, Fetter took his case to the appeals court. Contrary to the prior ruling, the appeals court rejected the district court's dismissal. What swayed the appeals court? The realization that Frost and FNLP indeed profited from Navi's rapid offloading of IVAX stock, a fact previously disputed. Ultimately, the court ruled that Frost and FNLP were bound by Section 16, B, of the Securities Exchange Act, and thus required to disgorge their short-swing profits. Their objections to the definition of beneficial owner and their challenge to the SEC's legislative power were swiftly rejected. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.